Good morning, folks. So I've got some good news for you. We've got a special guest in today's video. He's just coming over now. Uh, he agreed to make some time in his schedule. Uh, it's the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Prime Minister, it's me. It's John, Prime Minister. Prime... Wait, what? I got up early for that. Is it... Oh. That's very inconsiderate. His press secretary emailed me last night and said he really loves to speak to you. He's a huge fan and he'd like to have a chat, and maybe appear on the video. So it was all a lie. Damn it. Oh well. Guess I'm voting Labour next time around. Anyway, people, morning uh, and welcome back to a new week. In fact, it's so new that they've just had the week's breakfast delivered to Downing Street. Look, either that or is a prison van smuggling out the PM before he's toppled uh, by rebels in the Conservative Party. 1922 committee are hiding in the back of that van. They're ready, poised to strike. Or Mond and Viper-like. Incidentally, I'd noticed uh, yesterday on my way out that some of the police horses, guys, they go through here. Look, it's almost a secret passageway. Uh, that goes to the river. I mean, it's not actually secret. Uh, I can't see a street name, so I don't know if this cut through has uh, an actual name, but it goes all the way to the river. Look, ta da! And yes, that is the London Eye uh, just beyond poking itself out. Uh, I'll trot down there one day. We're not going to go there now because otherwise we might miss uh, the first of the blues leaving. I think it's roughly about quarter to 11, give or take. Here is magnificent Monty, guys. Not the Monty that you all know and love. Uh, this is Montgomery of El Alamein, a different Monty entirely. Keeping watch over Whitehall, having saved us in North Africa from those uh, pesky Nemetskis. Hi ho, hi ho. Off on a school trip we go. It's Snow White and the 7,000 Dwarfs, guys, being reshot here on Whitehall. Hope none of them walk into me because some of them are not paying attention. I'm guessing it's uh, school sports day before they finish for the year. In fact, almost all schools have actually already finished. Ah, it's Westminster Underschool, hence it being full of very uh, important young men who are going to be ruling the world uh, in about 10 to 15 years from now. Westminster being probably... I mean, a lot of people say Eton, but I mean, Eton, yeah, it's been declining in recent years. Westminster School is probably the best boys' school in the UK. Older Tonians would argue with that, but you know what? The influence has been on the wane for quite some time, to be honest. Plus, I mean, who wants to be stuck in the middle of nowhere at Eton when you can be at, uh, at Westminster School and have your local church service next door in the Abbey? I mean, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. If you've got the 40, five, six, seven, eight grand a year, that is, for your, for your son to go there. Okay, so we are approaching, guys, from a slightly different perspective. Across the road, uh, road? Road. Not because I'm stupid, but because I was poised, ready in that exact spot to interview the PM. And then he ghosted me. What an absolute... <laughs> oh, he is. Never mind. Do, 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 do. Right, here we are, Blues and Royals, uh, but not for long, guys, they're going. And for the first time ever, I am actually quite happy about that. Hold on, before you jump to conclusions, guys, I haven't had a falling out with the Blues. I want to see more of Tristan. Okay, I mean, it helps that one of my favourite operas is uh, Tristan and Isolde by Wagner. But Tristan the horse, wow, wow. Oh, hold on a second, wait a second, hold on. There's a special event here this morning. I'm just thinking, why is it so busy? Because something unusual out of the ordinary is happening. And I'm going to show you guys all of the VIP people that are inside the gate. I don't know why they're here. I don't know what's happening. I've got absolutely no clue, to be honest with you. But look, the back gate's open. We've got MOD officials. We've got troopers. We've got everyone. But I'm guessing that as world doesn't stop. Hold on, wait one second. 
Wait, not till this afternoon. Hold on a second. Wait, they're not opening the gates until this afternoon, did he no. say to you? No, because they're usually open. I wonder how they're going to change the horses if they're not opening the gates. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, he said not until this afternoon. Very curious. I wonder what the event is. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, the, the first uh, changeover of the day is at 11. Um, there's a new regiment due to come over this morning as well, so I don't... Unless they're going to do it all at the front. I mean, they could well change here and the horses walk down the... I don't know. I mean, this is a bit of an unusual one. I'll try and find out. One second, let me just clarify. Oh, Ollie. Completely shut until this afternoon. Oh, what is it? But no regiment changing over this morning. They will be doing the change, just be Ah, okay. So they keep on changing over the horses, but no, basically nothing in the yard. Yeah? It'll be of change, but yeah. they won't be in the middle of it, so they'll just be ill and out. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so yeah, they're changing, or will change over the horses as usual. There'll be a new regiment that arrive at 11 o'clock almost any time, but they're not doing the full ceremony. So, for example, the horses will change over in and out of the side gates, but effectively the yard will stay closed until this afternoon. Oh. So you're going to kind of get basically the half what you normally get pretty much, which is better than nothing, I guess, oh, but even they're not sure what it is, so... <laughs> yep, there we are. <laughs> Unlucky, but... <laughs> I mean, at least you're at the right time, because um, only three mornings a week do you get a regimental changeover. So this regiment, Blues and Royals, will leave shortly, and the guys wearing red, the lifeguards, will take over. So, yeah, I mean, ten minutes, not a long wait. So, enjoy it. Okay, so, yeah, folks, we heard it there. Um, no changeover, which is a teeny weeny bit unfortunate, but you know what? There it is. I've got no idea what it is actually. Even the uh, MDP are a little bit on the wall. That said, I'm not sure if they're on the wall, they're pretending to be on the wall. There's a big difference. Uh, but yeah, lifeguards coming. Now, I'm wondering how they're going to do it. I'm assuming they're going to haul open the gates, let the horses in, maybe a quick dismount and in the yard, or maybe no dismount at all. And after that, the lifeguards will obviously come out and uh, and take up their positions. I have no clue. In fact, I was going to say no clue if there are going to be any foot guards today, but I can tell you there won't be. Why? Because at the moment there aren't. There's neither a chitsman nor a gatesman, and that means if the 10 a.m. shift didn't come out, Blues and Royals, uh, they will keep the yard completely free of guards and tourists for some time. But interesting here, when they do this, there's no kind of board. The police are going to answer the same question 500 times in the next 30 minutes. Because obviously there were a lot of people here that turned up for this this morning. And it is kind of unfortunate, to be fair, because not only... Say you'd arrived in London for a, a, a you know, few days on Thursday, Friday. You would have had the most spectacular weekend that you could ever, ever imagine. It would have been glorious. Brilliant weather, brilliant atmosphere, super lots of fun this weekend. It was a brilliant weekend. But then you arrive yesterday or today, head outside. So, oh, sorry, it's closed. Okay. But importantly, there's no weather, there's no sun, there's nothing to to massively inspire and excite you, uh, as there is on a typical bright and sunny day. Now, horse-wise, no idea, guys. I will have a look in a second. Pretty sure the one to my left is uh, Thor. Clippy Cloppy over here is not in a good mood. Look. We know what that means, don't we? Yes, we do know what that means. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Thor from yesterday. But here, not for much longer. Now I'm wondering, if the back gates are closed, I'm wondering if the lifeguards are going to come in through the back gates, in other words, are going to pull them open for the changeover, or might they approach via Whitehall to go through the front gates? We have our answer. They've pulled open the, uh, the back gates. Okay, so the Blues are about to leave, guys. It's uh, as good as we're going to get today, people. But hey, better than nothing. Any moment the lifeguard will arrive. I'll try and get reasonably close. I don't want to push my lap by going right up to the gate. Um, much as I'm a known face, I'm still a security risk. 
It's like anyone else here is. So, with there being big wigs in the yard, it's not worth pushing my luck. I'm sure it would be okay to go up to the gate, but I'd rather not risk it. It's not fair. Because if I do it and other people follow me, there's going to be a huge deluge of people trying to get pictures at the gate. At least now everyone's behind the bollard area. Anyway, let's keep our fingers crossed, guys, that we get Tristan coming back. I can just spot in the distance, real, real far distance. Look, two police greys at the front. Okay, they've also now brought out a Chitsman. That's interesting. Oh, there are the lifeguards just riding across for the parade ground. Okay, so that answers our question about whether they're going to approach from the back or the front. See, everyone's curious, not just me. I'm not actually going to move from this spot, guys, because the crowd is large and I almost certainly will not be able to get back. Cheeky little scoundrel was difficult to push the gate open and run inside. Yeah, I do feel somewhat uh, sad on behalf of the tourists, but... That looks like that one that we seen yesterday. It's a huge lot of it. To be honest, though, folks, it's been a while since we've arrived here and something untoward has been going on, especially at the beginning of the new week. I dare say one of you will know from the calendar what's happening, but... Actually, wait, somebody sent me an email the other day about there being a service. I forgot what it, which day it was, though. I mean, strictly speaking, with the front gates closed, nobody's actually told the, uh, the crowds to stay behind the bollards. I'm not sure if the troop had a problem with it. You would have told her to get back. Oh wow, it was, huge. it was a sandstorm at the back. I'm not sure if the camera's going to be able to pick that up clearly enough. Huge amount of uh, dust in the air. I wonder if one of the lifeguard was just kicked off. I'm actually glad I didn't go to the back this morning because we would have gotten trapped there. I had to walk all the way back round again and start the video, restart the video. The Irish Draft Thoroughbred Cross. What are they called? Irish Draft Thoroughbred Cross. Irish Draft. Draft. Yeah, Irish draft. Thoroughbred. Cross. Wow. So yeah, 50% Irish draft, 50% thoroughbred. So pretty unique. Bred specifically for the British Army in Ireland. Okay, so if you don't mind me asking, she was just talking about the big white horse. Okay, so the white horses, are the ones the police ride or the other yes, large horses? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the police have a lot of interesting horses. They have some really, really beautiful horses, unlike even the guard horses. Uh, they have greys, they've got um, a lot of different bays, they've got some very curious Belgian horses. Don't worry, they're civil servants late for a meeting. They're in trouble if they don't push past. <laughs> uh, most of the horses in the household cavalry are like this, but they do have a few that are greys, and uh, they're the trumpeters' horses. Yeah, they really only appear at state occasions, or maybe I mean, once a week we tend to have what's called a long guard when we'll have a chap come over on a grey and play a trumpet solo in, in the yard there for the king. But it's, it's very random. Normally on Wednesdays, but don't quote me. Okay, so you're very knowledgeable. So, how long is this guy here on this horse? Okay, so this horse came out at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, he will be leaving in give or take 10 minutes. Okay. Everything's a bit delayed this morning though, because of this closure at the back, and I'm not sure what it's for. The new regiment just arrived. I saw them, yeah. the lifeguards were yeah. at the back. So, the first thing that happens now, you saw the blues riding out. Uh -huh. The lifeguards arrived, so we've got two separate lots of soldiers facing each other on the parade ground. Shortly, the first of the lifeguards will come through the tunnel. And then they'll swap over with these two guys, they're called boxmen, these guys at the front. And then we'll have one guy here, one guy there from the lifeguards. These two will go in, dismount. When they're ready, they'll leave, and the rest of the lifeguards will come in. Sounds like a lot, but it's, it's reasonably straightforward. So they change these out like every hour? Okay, so yeah, so the horse, any horse is only ever in the box for one hour, and then it's swapped over with another horse. Somebody was telling me 12 hours, there's no way they're no, but I've had people thinking that they're all night, they're like, you know, for a couple of days, it's just like, of course they're not. Well, I was going, are you... you <laughs> that would be like cruelty, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not that, the horses get... The, horse, the, guy. <laughs> they, the guys can deal with it. The horses get really antsy. Though. Sometimes yeah. they'll come out, yeah. they don't want to work, they'll spin around, they'll march back into the stable, and that's yeah. it, they're done for the whole day. And they'll bring a new horse. Yeah. So the horses are spoiled, really spoiled. The know how to oh, they definitely know how to take advantage of the situation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, civil servants probably from Ministry of Defence across the road. Yeah. We're approaching military season in London. Um, I'm guessing you guys are from the US, yeah? Yeah. We had a convoy's yeah. name. I don't sound as nice as you do. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. There was a very senior US military <laughs> chap here, Randy something, a general, I think. Randy Green or convoy's oh. name? Lincoln? No. I can't know. No, well, not, not the uh, US Foreign Secretary. There was there were a lot of senior US military personnel here last week. A lot of former um, US Marines out the back posing with the guard because we're approaching military season in London. So there are all kinds of closures and everything changes. It's all unpredictable here for the next two months. Yeah, yeah, there were lots and lots of t retired US Marines out the back on Friday, um, and a couple of uh, very senior military folks here. So are you, are you obviously from London or outside? No, I'm, I'm British. I'm born, born in London, grew up in London. Um, but I'm, I'm here. Do you still get fascinated by this? I, I do because I run a very well-known YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, ah. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what is your YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah, what is it? One second, I'll show you. Oh, I love this. Because there's a lot of interest in the pageantry and everything that happens here globally, no, not just in the, in the UK and Commonwealth countries. No, we have a high interest in Harry and Meghan. Oh, really? No, <laughs> I was going to say, okay, I'm, I'm not no, sure I can... You see. don't want to hear my comments on that, it's this one. You should have seen the look on your face. City Watch. That's you? Like yeah, 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 that's this one. Okay. Thank you. No pleasure. But you're here at the right time, uh, because this only happens two or three mornings a week, the regimental changeover. Right. Oh, um, okay. And I'm secretly hoping there's a certain special horse that likes to bite people that might be arriving shortly with uh, with the lifeguards <laughs> there are some real this one's pretty chill but there are some real biters yeah stood over there by that side and reached over people are really stupid because they can close as they do you know some of the things that you see here occasionally people have been bitten they've been thrown on the floor they've had their bags ripped one lady from Germany got her bag stuck on the horse's bit last week it was dangling they were trying to pull it off it's it, the stupidity sometimes is extraordinary Folks, lifeguards arriving. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of pods from the MOD. I think they're probably working on either a visit by forthcoming VIP, or it's just simple prep for the pending arrival of the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery. They'll be here in June, so happening pretty soon, guys. They got busy at the front. Look, if they turn us around, look at this. Okay, so next up, new boxman. How long will that take? I mean, it should be pretty quick. The yard's empty. Trouble is, if this horse gets skittish, uh, the gates at the side and the central gates are closed, we're going to have a problem. Probably just, well, they haven't got Luxembourg out this morning as well, guys, because if Luxembourg was here, we know he wouldn't stay in the box for very long. I think the Blues probably chose, actually, the, uh, the most chilled horses. But notice, for the moment at least, he's not actually uh, not telling people to get back. Okay, the trooper's going to come and open this, probably the side gates, I would have thought, today. Box doors first. I'm not sure if they're going to heave open the central gates, actually. The problem is if they open the central gates, everybody might decide, hey, it's a free-for-all, and uh, meander into the yard. I, actually, it's the trooper that got drenched yesterday when, uh, when he was warding the horses. Oh, hold on a second. Um, okay, I don't want to be like super specific here with questions, but a white liquid uh, just came out of the horse, and it wasn't. I mean, I'll leave that to you guys. What just happened? Either the horse was uh, drinking something very milkshakey last night, or that was something else. And there wasn't much of it. Okay. Wow. Oh, there's a helicopter overhead. Is that the PM guys? Is he coming to say hi to us? There it is, look. Yeah, my money's on that being a forward advance party for the King Street Royal Horse Artillery.
Bear in mind it's five past, so I'm thinking any time in the next five minutes we will get a new box man. Everyone's waiting really patiently, but the thing is the crowd's gonna build up, build up, build up, build up all the way down White Up Hall. And the PM's not at home, so he can't invite everybody in for biscuits and tea, even if he wants to. So what did the North Sea horse just do? Actually, I think he got too excited. So yes, I did. In uh, months gone by, folks, it would have been a very different story here. We would have had people walking over in multiples, grabbing the reins, all kinds of stupidity. The signs really, really did uh, did a wonder. Even how like, people are uh, still going over. Thor's probably thinking, you know what? I've been here for more than an hour, and he is right, he has been. He's been here now for uh, 65 minutes. Longest shift of the day, this first one, guys. Good boy, though, eh? Not moving at all. Flashing his teeth for us. Canada is also famous for offering a refuge to Offred uh, in the Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> so, you know, lo lots of claims to fame. <laughs> The UK, England. <laughs> I mean, come on, uh, parliamentary democracy. I mean, I could where, where to start with that? It's a pretty long list. I know you are, but I would actually argue in many ways the US, is, the US has actually contributed more in many ways than in the last 200 years than the UK. Globally. Yeah. I, I personally think it's funny because you got all of US visitors and they're always kind of saying, Look, we wish we had this kind of architecture, we wish we had this kind of everything in the US. You know, they have jazz music. What more do you want? I mean, come on, you can't, you can't have everything, can you? <laughs> you can't. Yes, Miles Davis, you know, that's enough for me. I think we can be good mates. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Where are you from, ladies? A mixture. Well, we're 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 not with them. We're friends from okay. San Francisco Bay Area. Ah, okay. It's funny we're because from London, Ontario. Are you actually really? Canada. Oh, the other yes. London. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, wow. The other London. <laughs> Goodness me. How does how does your London compare to this one? Oh nothing. No? <laughs> no. Not, not comparable. This is much better. Where is London, Ontario again? It is halfway between Michigan and Buffalo. Oh I okay, I grew up in Michigan. So it's about like two hours from the Detroit Michigan border. We're still waiting guys for uh, for the lifeguards. They're keeping us on our toes this morning. Massively, so all of these people are really hoping to be able to go about their daily business, but they're stuck. If after this they didn't bring out Tristan, I think I'm going to cry. Two bus, two two, folks. In fact, there's just two people on the uh, on the upper deck. I mean, especially a private tour, they've got the whole bus to themselves. Very lucky, very, very lucky. The thing is, is uh, there are no troopers anywhere near the front to even ask about what the special event is today. But I seem to remember mid-May and a little bit further on, we were getting a lot of uh, MOD officials here dealing with military season and that changeover for the King's Room. That would be my uh, moderately educated guess. The 
Are you taking the time to, uh, to dismount and bring up this box on this morning though, which is very curious? I mean, if Thor wants to quit, he can actually run back into the yard. So he, uh, he and the rest of his regiment, they will ride over to uh, their barracks, which is Hyde Park Barracks, very close to Harrods in Knightsbridge. Uh, that's where they, they live most of the time when they're, when they're not on duty here. This is just their ceremonial yeah, part of, right. of their duties. Yeah. Uh, some of them also spend time in the armoured half of the regiment down in Wiltshire, countryside, riding, dealing with tanks and stuff. Uh, very you know, professional so soldiers. Are they, are, are they military? Yeah. Yeah, there's a big misconception here, but a lot of tourists arrive here and think that they're guys in costume, like yeah. it's some sort of you know, Shakespearean new creation. Uh, <laughs> but no, they're, they're serving members. All these guys have uh, seen action. My son's a Navy. Yeah, he's in the yeah. US Navy. Yep. Wow. Following the Marines, he's a foreman, so he's a mentor. Yeah. Yeah. Proud mom. Proud mom. Yeah, I bet. I bet. What's your name, by the way, just so John. John, I'm Karen. Nice to Just meet so you, Karen. Keep going. Hey, you. you can, I'm okay with you. <laughs> okay. Hey, Here comes the best bit. Let me try and get out of your way a bit, ladies. Right. You sure? Okay. Oh, they want all of us to move back a little bit. Is that okay, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to crouch down a tiny bit, guys. There's one foot in front of the bollards, but... I think I'll be forgiven. Oh, hold on a second. I think they've changed over which group of lifeguards are here. These two guys were not here last week. They put in the box in a moment. Realize, folks, is that a lot of the troopers that I'm not recognizing from before look very different because of the new regs vis a vis facial hair. Okay, skittish horse. See, I, did, I did mention it, didn't I? Yeah. They'd normally try two or three times tops, and that's it. Then they'll swap the horse. So if he does it again two times, that'll be a different one. Yeah. So, guys, let's see if we can get the horse's name. One second. They obviously put the dude on his dirt side. John, why do these guys have red coats Enjoy on? Your day. Guys have blue. Okay, so uh, this, this, this regiment's called the Lifeguards Regiment. The other regiment that are leaving are called the Blues and Royals. Okay. But together, the two regiments, who are equal, make the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment. So these are the two most senior regiments in the British Army. This is as good as it gets when you're climbing up the, uh, the army tree. Is the red the higher? No, they're, they're equal, but the two regiments together collectively are the two most senior regiments in the army. Yeah. I'm trying to get the horse's name to tell you, but they've got a very, it's got a very odd mark on the hoof here. It doesn't even look like a number. Oh, so that's where you find the horses? Yeah, they, they, um, they number them. They stamp the hooves with a number. Uh, I've built up a list of which horse matches which number over time. But this one, there's, there's like, I don't even know what that is. It's like a kind of, maybe they've rubbed it off or it's a new horse. I can't tell. This is the final part of it. Once they're done in there, that's it. The blues are finished. So, and those are the two guys that run the horses? Yep. Yep. 
they're going to go shopping at Harrods. That's not, yeah, they're off to Harrods, bit of shopping, bit of lunch, maybe the spa, and then back to barracks. Really, really thronging the crowd here. That's it. Yeah, that is that. The ceremonial part is over. Well, you were like, <laughs> thank you. So I, so I, I, I subscribe to your YouTube channel. So you do walking tours then too. To be honest, I mean, yeah. my walking tour pretty much consists of little sojourns around here on my way to here. This is the focus okay. because this has a lot of popularity with military families uh, and other people around yeah. the world that just enjoy the pageantry and the story. So I know how through that channel to, if I wanted to contact you about. You can mess it. There's a there's a link on the YouTube channel to my Instagram. You could just send me a direct message on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. No, you've been so informative, and I'm so glad to hear about this military thing. My son's been in it for just a year, but what I've learned just about the U.S. military, it's just fascinating. It's mind-boggling how much detail there is, how much these guys have to learn, as I'm sure it's the same in the U.S. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks for educating. Hey, no, it was, it was my pleasure. Nice to meet you guys. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Okay. See you. Right, folks, we will focus on the horse, who we cannot name. Uh, and when I say we cannot name, uh, we actually cannot name. Let me show you why we cannot name the horse. I'll actually show you, so you know I'm not joking. Here's the picture of the horse's hoof. What is that? What's that? Look. I don't know, what is it? A crescent or something? It's basically nothing there. So uh, we're out of luck. One of you will know which horse this is. Uh, and, of course, you will, I hope, be kind enough to share it with us because I've got no idea. Small horse, though. Actually, beautiful horse. Uh, what have we got? We've got two socks at the rear, one sock at the front. Real cutie. I've got an idea actually, though. One second, guys. Let me see if, uh, if I can possibly use another tricky method to get the name. One second. Bit of a mess. I don't know exactly what it is. I, I think he probably MOD staff is preparing for the King's Cruise or something like that. Maybe. Oh, it actually is. Yeah, I'm talking about so I'm not sure what. Ah, it might not be that. It's going to be a parade out there. They're doing a normal change in it at the moment around the back. It's all cordoned off. No, no, I'm not sure what's going on. A bit unfortunate. I mean, I, we don't mind, but obviously it's unfortunate for the tourists. Oh, yeah. People that have. Uh, Travel a long way to hopefully see the everything out in the yard if we can just map up. Uh, the cordon's up from the mail, right around the edge of the park. So the entire playground is close. Yeah, yeah. There's all crowds all around in the edge of the park. Yeah, I bet they're proper the gutted, edges. in fact. But they better get used to it. I mean, everyone's going to be stuck along the back watching yeah. the trees in the colour. So they haven't got tickets. I'm trying to get the, the name of this little one. <laughs> Easier said than done, though, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, it's, it's literally, there's nothing on the hoof. Or something. All this mess earlier, when the blues were here first thing this morning, there was a load of uh, people in wheelchairs and that thing, all parked round, okay. and then the horse company pissed all over. Guys, <laughs> pictures to remember. <laughs> yeah, they have been a bit leaky actually before they left the other horses. I'm trying to see, but I don't think there's even a name on the. Uh, Well, let's see, did we get it? Sometimes the name is on there, but that to me looks blank. There's nothing on there. Yeah, no. yeah. Okay, guys, uh, must be a new one. Or well, one that's been away for a while. There's nothing at all on, uh, I believe that little bit under the neck is the curb chain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, but I'm liking this horse already. Curious little cheeky nipper. So nothing on the hoof, nothing on the curb chain. We're out of luck, guys. Thank you, very no, Thank you. Okay, I'm liking this horse already. It looks very. The horse looks very young, actually, to me. The 
you know, the tall guys are going to be proper, proper angry actually today when the, when they arrive with their groups and realize they can't go in. They're going to be very vexed. Okay, so we're right in front. Let's just wait and see what happens next. I will go to the other horse, guys, and attempt to ID the other horse. This one's got a super fluffy, uh, super fluffy mane and forelock. Yesterday, because we got no sun glare. Oh. Yeah, there's a people waiting, but they're just wondering if they're out of touch. The uh, rest of the blues leaving, guys, so their blues are done, they're finished. very lucky this morning in some respects. Yes, they might have missed it, but at the same time, it's very easy to get good pictures with the horse this morning. Okay, so the civil servants are off. They don't want to talk to us. Look. That's the MOD. Yep. No interviews for the likes of me. Oopsie. Okay, so I'm second time. My money's on this being a new horse. I'm not sure if, uh, if that's it or whether he's going to try one more time. The gates are closed on the box, though, so unless the officer's going to open them, there's no trooper out. Okay, third time and likely final. back someone explained to his friend behind that the horse has been standing here all day uh, and that's why he doesn't want to remain on duty okay that'll be it i'm sure goodbye horsey it's nice to see you whoa whoa okay lady trooper I've just got the name, folks. Ho, ho, ho. One second. Oh. Okay, now I'm genuinely surprised because this is not a new horse. Let me just check. I know the name of the horse now, but before I announce it, let me just check the number because I don't understand why this being a horse that we've seen before. Then, oh. Yep, they've had it. Oh, good lord, here we go. Look, just as the rest of the lifeguards are coming through into the yard, the horse is stuck in the, uh, in the, in the gate. We never saw this before. He's actually just sort of waiting there for some space because all of his buddies are lined up. If he freaks out, he's going to freak the rest out. Wow, they're taking him out again. Or oh, they're just putting him out of the way. Oops, one second. Everyone's wheeling their buggies and pushchairs behind me. 
They put him into the corner. I thought we could see through the box, but they've closed the doors, which is a shame. The, the, uh, the lady trooper is taking him over to the back, but there he is. Smart thinking, because obviously that avoids uh, the whole group having a meltdown. I feel like a proper tourist this morning, guys. Look at this. Anyway, without worrying about the details, the horse is Sizzler, I can tell you that. Uh, I wonder if the uh, the number's just worn off over time, the hoof number. Can you see a hat? So they're keeping Sizzler out of the way in the corner. marching around. I'm going to move back because even if Sizzler isn't coming back out into the box and there's no way of knowing if he will, there'll be another one. But, I mean, look at it. Everyone ran up to the gate immediately. Uh, I hope you didn't see a dismount. They did see it, the people right at the front, but you can see it's worth pushing and shoving. Okay, so not a new horse, uh, a young horse, really, but not a new horse, 100%. Uh, <laughs> it's only because, um, and it, it doesn't matter, but yeah, that's definitely Sizzler. That is 100% Sizzler, that horse. That is packed. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the new replacement, and I'm sure there'll be a replacement. I don't think they'll try Sizzler yet again. It's pointless for them to keep trying the same horse in morning. Who have we got on this end? There's this massive headed cutie horse. One second, I'm trying to get close enough to actually get a picture. These ones have got some very odd markings, actually. I need to know where the numbers are printed. Alright, let me put a picture on this one. Oh, there's a number. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? It's got to be uh, a special event. Maybe the palace. Anyway, the horse, guys, is a new one. Let's welcome Twickenham. First time he's made an appearance on this channel, I believe. He's got a giant head actually, he's a massive, massive headed horse. So she doesn't lose her lovely little uh, headpiece. I'll stay at this end with Twickenham uh, until they bring out a replacement for the other box. Yeah. I just realized his belly's hanging out. You stand, you stand <laughs> on Father Ray there. You can sneak him with the manufacturer. I mean, his belly's hanging out. He's got a lot more hanging out on the left here. Goodness me. We're in the favela to London. Ideal folks when there's only one horse because they need to bother moving between them. All the actions in one place. <laughs> I 
think he wants to nip someone instinctively. I really do think he wants to at least nip or nibble. I mean, it's the same thing here. Yeah. Oh, it's everyone else. See, look, he's he wants to dip out, doesn't he? He is a back a little tiny bit. Oh, that. Okay, so there's a. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Whoa, hold on, this whole sounds like a lion at Q10. Like, I'm disappointed though because if they're all at the palace, that means that our invitations got lost in the post. That's, that's just not on. I'm disappointed, very disappointed. Okay, guys, the first sacrifice of the week is being offered on the right. Is that I love you, son, but I have to do it. My king compels me. He wants a nibble, doesn't he? This little cheeky horsey. Yeah. First tour group just arrived uh, and they're having their guided tour at the gates. Look. The guy's a familiar tour guide with uh, the ZZ Top beard. I'm not sure if that's his actual beard or he just pins it on every day. There comes the fake smile. Get ready for the, uh, the the lemons, lemons in the cheeks, sourpuss face. perfectly balanced so for example you know this little switch yeah. when you open it, you can move the thing backwards or forwards when the power's off you need to make sure that the phone will stay there without flipping it looks like you probably need to move it a little bit more this way look at look at mine compared to yours okay, so it should balance with the camera it should it should balance yeah it should that said i never shoot it in portrait so i mean that's how i fix mine but i think it would be the same the important people in the palace uh, of which I'm obviously not one the funny thing is actually I did get an invite to the palace uh, but it was only because they were looking for temporary kitchen staff uh, for this morning and I said guys I'd love to help out but uh, I'm busy filming The, uh, the variety of outfits. <laughs> is, that your, is that your wife? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> they could have nipped her. <laughs> I 
taking their time, are they, with uh, signing up the replacement? The trooper's got the, the, uh, the, uh, the reins very firm in his grip, but that was really wants to nip out the... Go to the toilet then for a second. <laughs> He's going to scare the life out of someone. So, thank you. New horse is just arriving at the box, guys, uh, at the other end. Let's see if we can uh, grab an ID. Here we are. enough it's got a massive head and that white dot one second it is it is q10 yeah it is actually <laughs> how's about that the replacement horse for the meltdown horse is q10 which is actually not good news why because he's only going to have 25 minutes damn it that's a bit annoying isn't it oh she's back uh, and yes folks the weather is a little bit chilly here in central london today Touch my face. Yeah, it's a bit nippy. Nippy, nippy out. Okay, this changes everything. As much as I'm crazily excited about the beauty of that end. Looking on. God damn it, it's such a shame we didn't get an hour of Q10 at uh, at noon. But the key thing is that he's clearly now back on the rotation. Permanently. We've seen him many times in recent weeks after having been absent for ages. Oh, you see that? Cheeky tourist. Just... <laughs> anyway, let's not go there. See the police officer just like, don't leave that in front of me. She picked up her bag, her pret sandwich bag, and gave it to her. But well, what can I say? I mean, brilliant stuff. That officer really is on it all the time. Okay, Q10 meets, uh, meets a, a loyal fan. Look, look at the size of the horse. Oh, please look Nippo, she looks really nice, guys. Would not be fair. Oh, actually the horse is pretty chill. All of her friends are looking, they're like, wow, look at this. <laughs> she had probably the experience of the day, actually, maybe the experience of the week for her. I think Peter will be all right today. He only uh, gets really, 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 really unsettled when there's a massive amount of people padding him at the same time. I don't think there's any danger of that happening this morning. Feed to lose Sizzler, but hey, it is what it is. So let me add these into the list, actually. So we had the first Sizzler and Twickenham. Now we've got a few ten Twickenham. Okay. 
He seems to be in a pretty good mood this morning, doesn't he, Q Town? Yes. Kids are brave than the adults, there are plenty of people here, but only the kids here are super close. the group pitch on the uh, on the left <laughs> beautiful smile there see look they didn't even get the horse looking at them for their group picture the Frenchies but they did say merci Same box. That made me move back really fast. Q10 being a beast. This trip is not having a lot of luck this morning at all, is it? And we've never had two quit in one hour and a third uh, <laughs> replacement coming out. Let's hope that doesn't happen today. That was really unexpected. How instantly that happened. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Okay, he's coming back. Let me get myself way back. I'm lucky. I don't even think he wants to go that way now. Look, he's like, no, I want to go to the right, back to the stables. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because of the fact that everyone, uh, or the crowd, people, visitors, is static. 
and the horse just doesn't like a zillion people just standing there. Normally, it is actually moving along here. Let's say it's like a wall of people. Oh, here we go again. Okay, that's the uh, that's the third time. Wait, are they actually going to try again for the fourth time? We've never seen the horse being brought around four times to the box. Here it is, guys. The first time ever on this channel. Fourth time, lucky. I think that's a farrier that's coming out to have a look at him. I could be wrong. Actually, it's hard to tell actually. His berry looks uh, black. It's actually dark navy. Sorry, I thought it was a farrier. Right, that's uh, the fourth time, folks. What do we think? Is he going to make it? Let's see. Oh, here we go. He's off again. Even the police are moving out of the way this time. Oh, he's kicking out of the bag. What do we think? A horse fly, maybe? Look. And again, look. Something wrong with his uh, rear right leg. Right, is this going to be the fifth time? Surely not. Oh my gosh, here we go again. This is the fifth time. Yeah. <laughs> This is also the second horse. First one already quit. Nope, the first one already quit after three attempts. This is the fifth attempt now with this one. Not a good morning at all for the horses. 